Okay, part E. The power of the kettle was 2.6 kilowatts. The kettle took 120 seconds to heat 0.8 kilograms of water from 18 to 100 degrees C. Calculate the specific heat capacity of water using this information and give your answer to 2SF. Okay, it's worth six marks. There's a lot, so there's a lot on this question here. Because it's six marks and because, um, yeah, I'm already thinking, well, I'm gonna, this has been quite complicated. Let me just, I'm gonna section the area up first of all into, into three bits give myself space to work. Uh, specific heat capacity, I know the equation for that and I can find it in my uh, formula sheet is delta E, so change in energy equals M C, change in temperature. Okay, so I know I'm gonna need that equation. So let me see what we've got. Well, I've got change in energy I don't know actually what the uh, what the change in energy is right now because I've also got these things called like power so I've got power is let me have a look at what variables I've got so power is 2.6 kilowatts so power 2.6 kilowatts and as soon as I get these I'm going to convert them because that's I don't like it in kilowatts that's, that's 2600 watts I've got time is 120 seconds Okay, and power and time, actually what that will let me work out is the energy. So I know that energy equals power times time. So I can work that out straight away. So let me put that in there. So that's, uh, so I've got the power is 2600. 2600 times the time, which is 120 seconds, gives me a total of 312,000 joules. Okay, so that's my delta E, my change in energy. What else have I got? I've got 0 0.8 kilograms, that's a mass. I've done 128 seconds. I've got change in temperatures that. Okay, so I've got mass is 0 0.80 kilograms. And I've got change in temperature which is equal to 100 take 18, which is equal to 82 degrees Celsius. So there's my change in temperature. That's all my variables and I've already started working out my delta E. So that delta remember just means change in, that's all it means. So I can call it, say that's my change in energy. I'm gonna put those values in here now probably didn't need to uh, actually section it off into these bits, but that's fine. 312000 is equal to mass, which is 0 0.8 times C times 82. I'm trying to find C, you remember. So C is equal to Let me just put an extra line in there actually. 0 0.8 times 82, what's that? 0 0.8 times 82 equals 65.6C, right? So it's 65.6C, so that's 312,000. So C is equal to 312,000 divided by 65.6. So C is equal to, so 312,000 divided by 65.6 equals 4,756. I've got the units already there, but I need to give it in two significant figures equals 4,800 to 2 SF. Okay, let's have a look at how on earth we get the marks for this. So the first thing we get marks for. In fact, that answer will give you all six marks on its own. Look at that. 
So one mark for 2SF, two, two one mark for that, an that answer, one mark for the rearranging, one mark for uh, substitution here, one mark for this answer, one, two, three, four, five, and one mark for changing that into watts. Okay, so quite a few ways there to get the marks. Uh, the tricky bit there probably is recognizing that to, to get the energy from power and time, but it helped by writing P and T down. As soon as I wrote those down, whenever you see those, you, you know, you'll have the equation or it'll be on the equation sheet, um, but you can calculate the energy. And that, don't be put off by the triangle, the delta symbol, that just means change in. Okay, I think actually, if you'd missed some marks out as well, you could have got marks for, so this is other ways you could have got marks, you could have got marked for that as well. Um, in there, I think possibly you got that instead of that. Okay, hope that helps.